welcome guys and thank you so much for keeping in touch my name is Kavet and for those who are new here kindly subscribe to my channel like and share make sure you click the notification bell so that you may be notified end time I post a new video in this athletics championship it's the men's and women's 100 meter finals we're starting with the men and Andrew Cott is your commentator Thank you, Benjamin. Azamati is the first out. He was running very quickly in the spring in the US and struggled a bit in the summer to recapture that form. Didn't get a good start in the semi-final, but if he does, look out for him. Yupun Abekun of Sri Lanka ran very well in the first round, 10-0-6. Just looked a bit tight in the semi-final, but again, if you can find that first round form, he may well feature. Ferdinand Omanyala, though, is going to be the next man as well. He was never going to join the distance ranks of the uh, Kenyan runners. All power, born to sprint, quickest in the semi-finals. The African champion this year perhaps starts as the slight favourite, but alongside him will be from South Africa. The defending champion, Akani Simbini, took the title in the South African 1-2 in the Gold Coast four years ago with Enrico Brunches in silver. Fifth in the recent World Championships as well. And Sambini will fancy himself as the man to beat. Emmanuel Semi, Cameroon, have uh, never taken a medal of any colour in this event, but Semi certainly has a chance. This really is an open field in the men's 100 metres, and we're about to meet the two home athletes. And the loudest cheer will surely go to the next man into the arena. And the Alexander Stadium welcomes Nathaniel Mitchell Blake. All the home athletes have talked about the lift they're given by this crowd. What a semi final it was for Mitchell Blake. Took the victory in his semi final, third fastest time overall. Let's see how fired up he is, but Jeremiah Azu for Wales, the British champion. Azu is coming away, the start of the gods in the semi final. They will surely try. He gets out so fast. But can he hang on? A PB of 10.15 in the semis. He needs that and perhaps more again. Rohan Browning of Australia makes up the lineup, which is eight athletes, eight different countries. There are a couple of curiosities about this final. That hasn't happened since 1994. We've had eight different countries competing in the final. Nobody from Jamaica, no sprinters from the Caribbean at all getting talent. The 19-year-old, just turned 19, of Letzili Tabogo, who's running in the world under 20s, ran 9.91 in uh, Colombia. And he's actually just gone below 20 seconds with a cruising 200 meters. So look out for Letzili Tobogo in the, in the future. I understand they've got a slight issue with the timing at the moment. And these are the nervous moments, Colin Jackson where you're just, you're ready to go. You can see how fired up they are, but the psychology of, of this and trying to sort things out. And this is where the champion is. Adds to the tension. On your marks. But now we're ready. Hmm. How can 32,000 who made such noise in the final of the women's 10,000 meters now fall so quiet? Azamati, Abekun, Omanyala, Simbini, Esemi, Mitchell Blake, Azu and Browning for the final of the men's 100 metres. Set. Oh, flying out the block, Simbini, but look at Omanyala alongside him. This was his opportunity here and he took advantage of it, just led this race from start to finish. Akani Simbini. And it's Omanyala who's powering his way. Is anybody going to catch him? Oman Yala surely for the gold takes it. Sambini with the silver, perhaps a big one for the bronze. 10 0 2, the winning time. But again, the smile, the smile says it all for Ferdi Omanyala. Kenya have a champion in the 100 meters, so well known, so well used to taking titles in the middle distance and beyond. But they have the quickest man in the Commonwealth here tonight in Ferdi Omanyala. And from that start, Simbini, others were trying to get back to him, but they just couldn't. He was too fast, too strong. And very, very confident. Simbini's goals, 
I mean, Sri Lanka, the first time on the podium in 100 metres. So this is a, it's been a, a curious final indeed for lots of reasons. Nathaniel Mitchell Blake and Jeremiah Zhu just couldn't get into that race at all. They had threatened and promised so much with their performance in the semi finals, but really, Omanyala, again, look at him, he's a sprinter. And he's got the smile of a champion now as well. Uh, I love to see his celebrations. Look at that. He really feels a sense of honor, doesn't he? You can see he just has that pleasure of winning. No stress saying, I'm the Commonwealth champion. What else? Like and Jeremiah Azu will be that, you know, the times they ran in the semi finals, I know it doesn't always work out like that, but the times they ran in the semi finals would have got them onto the, you know, the. Certainly held it back home in Sri Lanka for that performance among some of the best sprinters in the world here. But Omanyala has been very good all year long, and yeah, it was so sad to see what happened to him at the championship, the world championships, coming in and out a few hours before. His preliminary, he made it through that, got into the semifinal, but that was the second day and the fatigue just took over and wasn't able to get into that final, where I think he would have certainly mixed it up with those, uh, with the Americans who swept it, maybe not a medal, but he certainly would have wanted to be in that final and give it a trust to his, uh, his troubles, his tribulations for the World Championships for a visa problem, and he, he'd only arrived there just before his heat and was all at sea in those World Championships, but all is forgotten now because he is the Commonwealth champion. Sambini with